Rapids Police Department, meanwhile, revealing details of its much anticipated first draft of changes to its policing policy. Of course, brought on by all the unrest that we saw across the country just a few <clears throat> months ago after the death of George Floyd. Julie Dunmire spoke with the chief about these changes today. Julie? Derek and Janice, this is an extensive plan and the first time the police department has had a strategic plan in the, since the late 90s, early 2000s. It's a vision for how the department will go about making the changes the community has demanded in recent months. I'm here to say, as I have for several months, I hear you. Chief Eric Payne with the Grand Rapids Police Department says he knows listening to the problems the community has with police isn't enough. But I know it's not enough to say I hear you. Action always speaks louder than words. I'm here today to present to you our police department's strategic operational plan for 2021 to 2023. Law enforcement as a profession has a long history of service and sacrifice, but it's not without mistakes and shortcomings, including playing significant role in systemic racism. Telling me in an interview on Monday, things are soon going to look different with GRPD. Our vision that we'll become the safest mid-sized town and most trusted police department in the United States. A lofty goal under his new plan, all patrol officers will be assigned to neighborhoods, a more equal way of dispersing the department throughout the community. We're going to a neighborhood base as opposed to community based policing. Every neighborhood is different in this city and to just have one community plan uh, does not apply to the entire city. A better way of connecting with the community too, he hopes. What will be is that we'll have officers assigned to each um, beat in the city which covers the neighborhoods. Uh, right now we have roughly 15 community police specialists. We'll have 130 complete um, policing specialists when this plan is implemented. Uh, They'll be acting or working with neighborhoods to address their concerns, issues that may come up. That means all patrol officers will now become community police officers, focusing on engagement with the people they serve. And it's about re relationship building. So um, ultimately, we need to raise that trust value with with the citizens of Grand or community members of Grand Rapids. The department has also created a police dashboard to monitor their progress. Which will heighten our transparency on certain things such as the budget, use of force, where citizens can click on to that dashboard and see how we're doing and providing feedback. All in an effort to better connect with the public, but GRPD says they can't do it alone. When police departments see a significant increase in violent crime, the traditional response has been to send in more officers, specialty teams, to engage with aggressive enforcement. But where is this gotten us? Oftentimes we are able to impact crime, but do we also impact innocent people? As we cast a wide net, who else gets caught up in it? The plan also includes new policies like one that will require officers to report when their colleagues are using excessive force and to prevent retaliation of the officer or for the officer reporting. This is GRPD's attempt to hear the call from those protests earlier this year, but they say they need your input and the department is asking for written feedback by August 25th. They're also working on town hall meetings. If you want to join that conversation, we have more information with this story on our website. We'll also link the department's full presentation. There's a lot of information there to take in. Like I said, 18 pages. It's worth a read if you do live in the city. Live in the newsroom, Julie Dunmire, Fox 17 News.